Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, uh, we have a ciphered computer, as it's named on AliExpress. It's uh, basically a speedometer, it tracks distance and things. Uh, I ordered it from AliExpress, obviously. Uh, it came, it was delivered from the UK. So, the seller must have a factory in the UK where it ships from. Um, but strangely, it still only came in about 15 days, so I don't know that would. So I'll just get it open. You can see I've opened the top of it. Let's just see what it was. And it's very well wrapped. That is very well wrapped. So, there it is. Before I get started, I just want to mention that you might have noticed, or you will notice, um, a few of my videos uh, contain, you know, bicycle um, accessories, and that's because I am doing a charity bike ride at the end of next month. Um, I'll be riding 55 miles from Wigan to Liverpool along the canal. Um, if you're not from the UK, you don't know what a canal is. A canal is basically a 25 feet wide. Um, stretch of water that goes from Leeds to Liverpool um, as I say I'll be riding along it from Wigan to Liverpool 55 miles which is not a massive um, thing I know but it'll be challenging nonetheless especially since a lot of the footpaths along the side of the canal they're not um, paved um, there's a link in the description below if you want to learn more about that um, I'm not asking you to sponsor me or anything it's just you can read a bit about what I'm doing that's all um, so yeah, we'll get the crack on with it. It's well well boxed, as you can see. Get it open. Straight away we have instructions. And at first glance, there's, there's a lot of pictures here, so... But it looks like it's written in good English, which is always a bonus. Sometimes they come and they're written in English, but it's so far off the mark, you really don't know what the hell they're talking about. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we have, I don't know what that bit's for yet, uh, I'll work that out later. So, this is the wired uh, magnet, I can believe you call it. <coughs> and this wire will run from the handlebars down the frame to the front wheel and it will be attached to the frame I'll show, you, I'll, I'll show you all this anyway and this will be attached to a spoke on the wheel so each time the wheel does one rotation it will be counted as it passes this I think it will be that way actually as it passes this, it'll be count. It'll count, um, you know, your distance, etc., etc. Uh, these are your ties to tie your, your cable to your frame. Um, some sticky pads here. I'm not sure what they're for yet. They're probably to stick them. But again, I'm not sure. But we'll work it out. <coughs> and then we have the um, cycle computer speedometer here. Comes with a protective cover. And I must say, straight away, sometimes when you order things like this, they feel like a, a you know cheap plastic and tatty. But this is it's strong. It's very, it's a very sturdy plastic that's been made from, which is a, you know, which is brilliant. I really hope this would be good when it came because I need it to be. Um, so we'll just peel that, that off. Let me see the blank screen. Now there's a tab in the back that you pull out. You can see that. Can you see that there? Probably be easy to open it up actually. Let's, yeah. So you just open the back up, pull that tab out, throw it away, place your battery back in, and then put the battery cover back on. And when you look out where it goes, you just lock that back up. And uh, I don't know what it's doing right now. It's flashing. I'm just showing you. Oh, 
assume. So pressing the more button. Different things are coming up. Um, now this is something we'll have to refer to the instructions for. Um, which I'll do that. Aye. Now I'm probably not going to do all that on camera because like I said the instructions uh, good instructions lots of pictures right so I worked out what the rubber band's for or well, I call it a band it's not exactly a band um, it's to attach this to the frame basically you hook it around the back there you put it over your handlebar or whichever part of the frame you want to put on then you hook it you put it around the bar and then hook it back on the other side which is a pretty simple thing for it to do now that's quite loose well it's not, it's quite tight but it's still a bit loose so I'll probably have to do something about that um, so yeah This wire, I'll undo bit by bit. I run it down the frame and down the handle, uh, down the fork, and attach it to the fork. Okay, so as you can see, I've put um, the sensor on the spark of the wheel. Um, I've run the, wi the wire up it. I went to the there. And then what I've done here is I've just wrapped it around. Um, the cables on the front of the back and obviously attach it to the frame at the handlebars there was a lot of excess wire um, but it's not going to be in the way that'll be fine Let's snip these off so then on the spoke I'm just need this you can see I put the magnet on the spoke you can see I put the magnet on the spoke here and this needs to be within five millimeters of the sensor so on first usage you will need to enter the circumference of your bark wheel into this in millimeters um, we have a conversion chart in the instructions now mine measures 26 inches by 1.95 which is 2099 millimeters so we enter that into this if I from underneath there's a mod button here and a set button here so I want to put 9 there 9 there and that is it you keep pressing the mod button and it'll bring it to the clock. You can set the clock here, but I'm not going to do that right now. You can you choose, sorry, you click the set button, and you can choose 24 hour or 12 hour. Once you have to that, you click the mod button, and then you'll be able to change the time to whatever the time is. Actually, what time is it? It is half past dinner time. Now this is the audio, this is something to do with distance, but we don't need to worry about that right now. And we're ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Google Maps, I'm going to measure a certain distance, and I'm going to ride along that distance, and see if it matches what this tells us. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it for accuracy. Um, You've just seen me set the wheel circumference um, in it, and it's ready to go. So I've measured a point um, on Google Maps. I measured half a mile down a towpath that goes alongside the canal near me, and it stops at um, a lock um, just before some train tracks so I'll know once I get there I'll know that I've done that distance then we'll have a look on the um, cycle computer as it's called and we'll see what distances give us so yeah 
We're going to go and do that right now. Uh, so this is the starting point. We're going down that way. Um, I can't film it because I'm holding a camcorder and I can't find my GoPro, so I'll be back when I've done the distance. So I just got back and that's the result. Distance 0.8. Now we're in kilometres mode, I believe. So that is half a mile. 0.8 kilometres is half a mile. So yeah, it's accurate. It's very accurate. Now to reset all this, you take the battery out and put it back in. Then you'll have to port your wheel circumference back in it as well. Which is a bit of a pain, I know. Um, I'm not sure if you can reset it in another way. I mean, obviously that's a full reset, but I've not seen anywhere any instructions how uh, we can oh wait a minute here we go you can reset the following values all those hold the set button for approximately three seconds to reset the values so we'll do that let's not reset the distance maybe I have to one second uh, okay, so you, yeah, there we go. So you just hold the mode button through the different things and hold it down, hold the set button for three seconds and it'll reset your data. So as it turns out, you don't have to take the battery out to do them simple things, which is always a plus. Um, it's waterproof, but you shouldn't submerge it in water, according to the instructions. Um, yeah. And you've got explanations of different bits and bats. So I'll probably leave it there. It's accurate, which is what I need, especially for the charity bike ride. I need to know how many miles I'm doing and what speeds I'm doing them. And yeah, so I've gone for the wired version. I would recommend that, to be honest, because I'm, I'm not convinced the wireless version is going to be as accurate. Um, but yeah, links are in the description if you want one. It only cost me about eight dollars, I think, which is about five, six UK pounds. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.